Okay, folks, thanks very much for joining me. Today I'm going to be tying up a very popular but quite controversial salmon fly here as well. Um, so I've also got it on the treble as well. So some people don't like the trebles, but I find for this kind of fly it works quite well. So just going to add on our thread. Be careful of the barbs there. And I'm not going to go right down to where I normally do the tag. There is no tag for this fly. But I'm going to add on a rostrum or a tail you call it and what i'm going to use here is this is cock pheasant so some people use calf tail as well it's entirely up to yourself i'm just gonna take some of this off it doesn't have to be too thick i'm going to just tie this in and hold that and just curve the barb and pinch and loop and then I'm going to hold it where I want it and start to bring that across. And as I'm going it on, I just weave my thread in between those hook points. There's no point tying it right on at the end. Okay. Shorten it a little bit, maybe. Okay. I'll do rightly. So I'm just going to cut off my excess. And just start needing that up. So this has fly has feelers. Um, you could use a range of different feelers. So what I use is boar bristles. You could also um, use like stripped hackle fibers. It's entirely up yourself. But this is orange boar bristles, and the tip has been dyed red. So a nice color for this time of year. So get yourself a few bristles, and we're putting on four here. So just use them equal parts across the fly. So, and on like the the hackle, the hackles you have to really ensure that you're happy of where it's being located, because you're not going to be cutting them off at the end. That's the first one. And don't worry about neatness here, because at the end of the day, what we're wanting to do is actually build up. A bit of a profile towards this rear of the fly anyway. Okay. It's a bit fiddly, but hopefully worth it. What you can do as well with the feelers, you can put them on the back of your the back of your hand if you want it, and get a next conch, a next shape to it. I'm just gonna put out a few more feelers here, so I'm gonna do a couple at the top here. As I said, some people don't like fixing these kind of flies. Um, drop us a wee comment below if you have much success out of it. I have hit fish on them, but I've never actually been able to land them on this kind of fly. I have caught fish on feelered flies before, but never on the actual Francis. Okay. Okay, so that should give us a nice even distribution I'm just going to put some super glue on the thread here and that will stop any of those Feeler slipping. Be careful you don't hit the actual hooks itself. That'll give you a good secure hold. Okay, and then just cut off your access. And then just start to up a little bit there. So you don't need the, the biggest of 
um, bumps, but what you want is a cigar shape or a car shape. So a little bit bigger at the rear and then sloping down. So I'm going to just try and create a wee bit of a slope here with the thread and then I'm going to work up and I'll start to tie my body. So um, before I do the body I'm just going to add in a rib. So I'm going to just use gold oval. You could use silver oval. I think the original had silver. Okay. So that's that secured. And then for the main body itself, what I'm going to use is wool. Okay, so this is just regular shop bought wool. You get a lifetime supply of it for a couple of pounds. You can buy it from a fly tan shop if you want. Um, so I've just what I've done is I've just taken off um, it was a few strands, so I've just taken one strand. And I'm just using the weight of the bobbin. Help me secure that in. It's been a while since I tied on a treble, so you can hear me hit the odd hook point here. And again, every time I tie this in, this is helping to create that profile. Create a little bit more bulk towards that rear. Okay. So bring your thread right back, secure that in. And then bring your thread back to the head area. Okay, so just gonna I'm gonna remove gonna move the rib out of the way here. It doesn't get in the way. Okay, and then just wind on our, our wool. Now if you want you can twist the wool a little bit. Just make sure it's nice and tight. Or if you want you can leave it straggle it's entirely up to yourself okay now if you need to build up if you don't have enough of that shape you can always add a wee bit extra there are a couple of turns on the rear but i think i've got a good shape here happy enough of that there okay a couple of turns to secure it in then just cut it off and I'll follow up with the rib. So this is size 14, so we only want to get maybe four turns. If you were using a bigger fly, say it's size 10 or an 8, you'd probably want to palmer a hackle in. But with this fly, all we're going to use is just a head hackle. Okay. And uh, as always, whenever I'm putting on a hackle, always put a bit of wax on the thread. And this is only a small hackle here, just says a fly, so just break off the tip. Expose a few fibres and tie in at the break. And pull those fibers back. Just a couple more turns to secure them. <coughs> and just start to trim the fibers inwards. And then, whenever you're doubling a hackle around the treble. Always just try and pick one one point at the furthest away or nearest. So you're only having a deal of one hook. Don't try and double it in the middle or you'll get caught with both hooks. It's always easier to double beforehand than double as you wind. Okay, so we've done two turns. I'm going to probably do a third turn here. And that'll do me. For the size of fly. off my excess. If there's any fibres pointing forwards just bring those back again and they'll get caught up 
whatever you're creating in your head. Okay, so I'm just going to build up my head a bit of security. And get your whip finish tool. Half a dozen turns of whip finish tool or so. And that's you, folks. That's your. That's a mini Francis, says 14, but I have also done a, a micro Francis on the channel too, so do check that out. But as I said, it's a bit of a controversial fly. Let me know below if you've had much luck with it, and if you've faced it yourself. It's quite a unique way of facing it as well, um, facing it deep and slow. Um, but yeah, hopefully you find that useful, folks. And as always, do hit that like button below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Until next time, all the best.